Hey friends, it's Simply T again, and I'm back here, right here with you guys, sharing my install video of my very first Janet Collection wig. So um, if you wanna get into how I install this beauty and what I think of her, uh, go ahead, you know what to do. Keep watching, but wait, make sure that you're subscribed, you like this video, and you share it with all your friends. Okay, let's go. Now this video is a part of a Wigmas collab with my beautiful wig sis, Miss J Dunn. Um, she tapped me to be a part of her Wigmas series and you know I couldn't say no. So make sure to head over to her channel as soon as you're done watching this one if you already have it. I'll leave her link in the description box below. This is my first purchase from the Janet collection and so far i'm pretty impressed i love the texture and i love the tint of this lace now this one is a part of the extended part lace and it is in the style june hey june babies <laughs> so i figured i would pick this one up and just give it a shot so you see we have two combs um, and one comb in the back with adjustable straps and i did purchase this beautiful lady on wigtypes.com for only $27. Yeah, that's right, $27. Get into it. I like to try my wigs on straight out of the pack just to get a feel for it. This one is an ear to ear lace tea part uh, closure. And I like the tinting of the Swiss lace so far. Um, I'm going to give this install a try without adding any type of tint to it just to see how well the lace blends out the pack. Um, it was pretty dense in the front. So I'm just going ahead and plucking a little bit from the front. It is a T-part lace, so um, there's not much lace, just an illusion, um, but I'm gonna pluck what I can just to see if it makes a difference. Um, so far, I'm in love with the layers and the texture of this wig. You know how I feel about yakky textured hair, especially synthetic wigs. So um, they're getting some pretty good marks in my book so far. After I'm done lightly plucking the hairline, I'm just gonna run through it with my hot comb and inspect it just a little bit more before I lay this beautiful wig down. Um, I can't get enough of playing around with the volume of this wig and I am truly in love with it. I must say the pictures on the website did not do this uh, wig any justice. And for the price point, um, I gotta say, this is probably one of the, the best style wigs I've received or ordered. Now that my hairline is ready, I'm just gonna go into the lace with some of my Wonder Bond lace adhesive spray in the Strength Supreme. Of course, from Ebon, New York. Um, this has been my new go-to spray. I know you always see me using the red bottle, but this one um, gives a legit um, glue hold and not just a, you know, spray hold, if that makes any sense. So um, if you wanna know where I got it and um, how you can get your hands on it, go ahead and check the description box below. But this is my go-to glueless um, option for when it comes to laying my human and synthetic wigs down. So once I'm done spraying one layer, I'm just gonna go over it with some low to medium heat with my blow dryer.
All right, so I'm all done cutting the excess lace off of the front of the wig. So I just wanna go ahead and spray one more layer over the edges of the lace that you see sticking up and standing out with that Wonder Bond lace spray in uh, the Supreme Hold. Um, it's just a pet peeve of mine seeing my lace sticking up like that. Um, if I had to give this a con, that would be the only one. Um, the fact that I trusted the tint a little bit too much. I would go back and add a little foundation or some tint spray if I could. So that's just my one little thing that I have on my list. But besides that, I love everything about this wig and even the lace too. When I tell you how in love I am with this wig, I kept playing with this wig even after I stopped filming. And um, the longer I keep playing around with it, the more I really start to like it. This wig, especially for its price point, um, is the perfect everyday glam look um, for anybody that wants to keep it simple and on a small budget. So would I recommend this to you guys? Of course I would, friend. Um, I would recommend leaving some lace tint or foundation on the bottom of the lace just to, to, just to give it a little more blendability. But other than that, this is that girl. This is definitely that girl for $27. <laughs> Even though we're all done with this wig install, that doesn't mean the Wigmas party is over. Make sure to head over to my wig sister, Jay Dunn's channel, to check out her part of this awesome collab. Thank you as always for clicking play and make sure to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. I will meet y'all right here, same place, next time, okay? Peace out.